Hi everyone, Rob here and today I'm going to walk you through the steps that I took to create an augmented reality treasure map, a magic treasure map, kind of like the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, this is a treasure map that is a blank sheet of paper and when your users, uh, anyone that you want, uh, could be your students, for example, scan the treasure map using the HP Reveal Augmented Reality app on their phone or mobile device. They start to see the magic treasure map appear right before their eyes. Now, the first thing that you need before you start adding augmented reality features to this kind of treasure map is an actual map itself, the piece of paper that your students are going to scan. Now, in this case, you could use uh, anything that you want to create your background with your static text on it. PowerPoint would actually work quite fine and give you the right dimensions. But I've used uh, an online tool called Canva, which is a poster or infographic making suite. And I'm logged in here now. And I'm just going to use a basic poster design template in here. And I'm going to use that to create my blank map with my static elements. Those are the elements that show up before they even scan with their, their HP Reveal app. So I'm just going to click Poster. It's going to open up a new window here now. And I'm going to want to use a blank sheet of paper and upload my own background. Now I've got this old piece of parchment here, which I think would be absolutely fine. I've actually already got that uploaded to save a bit of time. So I'm just going to drag that over here to my map and resize it so that it takes up most of the surface area of my paper. There we go. That should be good. Now I want to add some more static elements to this that uh, my students would see before they actually scan it. I've got a few other images already uploaded here. There's also lots of stock images available within Canva that you could use. So for instance, I could use this little compass rose design here. That's a nice treasure mappy type thing. I've got a little X marks the spot that I can put on here. And I want to add some text on here uh, to explain what this is. So what I'm going to do is click on text. I'm going to add a heading and perhaps I will call this treasure map demo. Delete the old text, of course. Now this is not very old fashioned looking this text. So what I want to do is actually change my font here. Pretty much the same as working with any uh, any text editing software. So you can scroll down through and find yourself a font that you like. I want to look for something in here that's a little bit old fashioned looking. Oh, here we go. This kind of looks piratey. And I can drag that up to the top. Now you want it to be big enough to show up, but you don't want it to be so big that it's going to take up uh, all of your area on your map. So I think that that's pretty good. And maybe you want to add some other instructions down on the bottom before your, uh, your students were to scan the map. So I can add some more text here, a little bit of text on the bottom. And you can zoom in on this if this map is not big enough for you to work with. So I'm going to add some text here. So there's all the basic instructions that anyone would need to uh, follow my treasure map on here. And I can put that right down at the bottom. Those are the basic instructions for anyone. And when you're satisfied with your background for your treasure map, all you need to do is save this. So you can see it auto saves up here. And I want to actually download a copy of this. So I'm going to download it. And you can download it in multiple formats. I recommend PNG, the best type of graphic to work with, with a transparent background. And download. 
it's going to download the file to my computer and then I'm ready to move on to the next step which is adding my augmented reality layers and we'll do that in another video.